Hey, it's Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Steve Walling. My guest for this segment is Destiny Rodriguez with Center for Climate Protection. Did I get that right? Yes, you did. Got the name right? Yes. Got the organization right? Definitely. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Well, it's good. I want to make sure I got everything right before I said, <laughs> well, we get it clarified. Okay. We have Center for Climate Protection, Destiny. What is that? So, Center for Climate Protection, we are a 501c3 nonprofit. Right. Um, our organization is actually headquartered in Santa Rosa, okay. but I work here in the Central Valley. Mm -hmm. And um, what we do is we try to work with uh, communities, local government, youth, um, businesses, you name it, so that we can help to um, lower greenhouse gas emissions and help with um, the climate crisis as it currently is. Okay. That's a mouthful. Yes, it is. On many different levels. <laughs> How do we approach that destiny? So um, one of the things that Center for Climate Protection is doing, one of the things that I'm working on, is uh, Community Choice Energy. Okay. So Community Choice Energy, um, this was identified by my organization back in 2005. Right. Um, they looked at this as a promising model that mm -hmm. could be replicated throughout the state. Mm -hmm. And um, it also offers revenues for local communities, local control of their uh, energy needs and their energy generation. And it also helps with environmental impacts. As okay, you yeah. piqued my interest. How do we get there? <laughs> so um, right now, Community Choice Energy is um, a fairly new concept for the Central Valley. Right. However, this has been going on for about 10 years now. Okay. And um, in the 10 years, there are 19 operational agencies throughout the state of California. Okay. Um, but this is going on nationwide. Right. So Community choice yeah. in, in energy. Mm -hmm. And as it applies to our local area here, what, what, what we're really looking to do is to initiate it, right? Yes. To bring it in and to bring it into effect. Yes. Okay. So that it helps in many different areas as far as we're, you know, we're talking about greenhouse gas production mm -hmm. here. Okay. So how do we get that process initiated? So right now, um, as it pertains, the city of Fresno is very interested in possibly pursuing community choice energy. Are they really? Yes. Um, a motion was made um, to allocate some funds to do a technical study. Okay. Um, when that motion is going to be voted on, hopefully will be um, within the next few weeks. And that'll be the very, very first step okay. in getting whoa, whoa, community whoa, whoa, choice energy let's started. Stop right here. Okay. That vote might be very important, you think? Yes, it's very, okay. very important. And knowing politicians the way I have a little bit of knowledge of them, um, they need some they need some thing to help motivate yes. them in doing that. Yes. Okay. On a legal side. Definitely. Okay, we want to keep it on the up and up. And the best way to do that is for individuals to get involved, isn't it? Definitely. You Thank know. you so much for bringing that up. So um, what in, one of the things that we're asking today is um, for residents um, to talk to their um, city elected, to talk to their representative, and let them know that this is something that they want for this community. And why they would want something like this for this, for this community is, um, and I talked about the revenue streams. Right. But there's also um, a benefit for the customer. So right now, we, we're all PG&E customers, right? I've heard that rule. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we pay our bills every month. Yes, we do. Um, with Community Choice Energy, um, that would help offer competition, friendly competition with PG&E, and it would help to stabilize and lower your energy bill. Okay, now Which you really amazing. got my interest. Lowering energy bills is always something high on my list. Definitely. And particularly this time of year. Oh, yes. Gets a little bit, yeah, it's a little hot. So, but it all comes back to at this point in time in this area is getting the city to move. Yes. To, to get that. And that comes back to not the council people because they're only going to do what they think their constituents want them exactly. to do. So it takes the constituents, that's you out there yes. and, and you over there, and the one hiding in the background, that's you also, that we have to, we have to step up. Yes. Okay. Now, I'm going to take you off topic for just a minute. Sure. In order for us to do that, one, we have to know who our elected representatives are. Yes. Okay. So you got to find your elected representative. And next, finding him is not going to do anything. you got to contact them. Yes. 
and you don't contact them by sending them an email necessarily, that's a start. But you know, if you call, if you if you send them letters, or better yet, if you show up at the council meetings yes. and you tell them ahead of time, you're going to be there, and I'm going to be watching you. My eyes on you. Got it. I'm on you. Where's your vote? This is how activist community people create things in their community yes. and that's what we're asking people to do is become active in their community definitely yeah and then as they do that now we get back on topic as they do that now we can get back to having a really good energy program something that's yeah. intelligent that serves the community that feeds back into the community yes it sounds like there's a lot of good stuff all the way around on this oh yeah, yeah. Um, lots and lots of good stuff um, one of the things um, that I forgot to mention is that it, it focuses primarily on renewable energy, renewable sources of energy, clean energy, um, which is really important because um, for years and years, we've never had a decision where our energy comes from. Those things have been decided for us. Oh, it comes from flipping the switch. <laughs> <laughs> right? A lot of people uh, think that, right? Exactly. Okay. But uh, a lot of the energy that we've been using historically has been dirty energy, fossil fuels, uh, coal, and a lot of it from the East Coast because it's cheap on the dollar. So it gets purchased. Okay. With uh, community trace energy agencies, they focus on using renewable energies um, locally within the state um, to help boom the solar, solar industry, and this equates to generating jobs. Sounds pretty good. Now, I'm watching this, all of a sudden I'm, I'm kind of maybe thinking about getting excited. One, I'm going to either contact my council person or I'm going to mm -hmm. show up, but two, how would I get a hold of you to get more information? So um, you can email me at um, destiny at climateprotection.org or you can go to our website, which is uh, cleanpowerexchange.org. Clean, cleanpowerexchange.org. Okay. Yes, and you can learn more about uh, community choice energy. Mm -hmm. um, but I would recommend just, just contacting me um, because I'm happy to help uh, residents with uh, comments or um, you know getting a letter to your to your uh, representative I'm happy to, to help in any way cool and before we close out again it's kind of off topic mm -hmm. you're happy to help you've been happen you've been helping for quite a while haven't you yes I have yes you know you've been you've been doing this what got you interested in, in being someone that has sought to be of service to their community. So um, I started getting interested um, in nonprofit work um, when I was in college and I started doing volunteerism back in high school even then. Um, but I've been working in nonprofits here in the Central Valley for over 10 years. Um, worked in public health, asthma, environmental, clean, um, clean air, and now going to clean energy. So all kind of ties yeah, together, doesn't it? It, it really does. Right, um, yeah. Destiny, thank you for what you do, and thank you for being on the show today. Thank you so much for you having me. come on me. back. You want to rattle some cages or whatever? <laughs> get the word out, and we will, okay? Okay. You might want to get a hold of her, and I'll see you when we come back. <laughs>